So I'm back here with another review. Today I'm reviewing Mutant Football League for the PS4. Um, me and my buddies, or most of them, played it via the PS5. I uh, beat the game 4-9-22. So uh, let's get into it. I'm going to go over the same five categories that I normally do. We'll start with graphics, then performance, gameplay slash story, replayability, and then fun factor. Give my a rating 1 to 10, average it out, and then talk about uh, just a few notes I made. So we'll start with graphics. So uh, graphics I'm going to give a 7. They're not great. Um, it's kind of reminds you of like a Blitz types game. Um, this is actually a remake of a Sega Genesis game. It's like a, not a remake, sorry, it's like a spiritual successor as Wikipedia says. But I just ordered the game and it should be here pretty soon. The original. Um, I didn't know it was a remake or a remaster, um, spiritual successor, sorry. But um, yeah, the graphics, they're nothing uh, spectacular, but they get the job done. They're just fine. But, you know, 7 out of 10 graphics. Performance um, is the worst rating out of all of this, but it makes the fun factor go up to me. So that category gets a little bump because of this is so low, and I'll explain later. But the performance is pretty poor. Uh, the game, it doesn't have frame drops or anything like that. It doesn't crash. So performance isn't poor in that, uh, in that respect. It's poor because it glitches out. Like you'll do things like bribe the ref and it won't work, or you'll do a trick play and you'll run into a guy, or uh, just weird things happen. Um, for instance, my X button, X button doesn't show up when I accept penalties a lot of times. Just weird things happen, but it's hilarious when you're playing against a buddy and something's supposed to happen and it doesn't happen. And there's so much mayhem in the game to begin with, whether it be bribing the ref or doing trick plays, that when they don't work, you think that they did a trick play or something. Like the other day, I... Uh, tried to do a handoff, but my buddy had done a sticky ball trick play. I thought it just glitched out because I'm kind of used to that happening. But towards the end of the game, he told me that was a trick play of his. So it's just funny stuff like that. So performance, it does get a knock because it's, um, it's bad in a fun way. So a 6 out of 10. Next is gameplay slash story. So it doesn't really have much of a story, so I'll pretty much uh, focus on gameplay. But man, it is so much fun. Uh, I haven't had this much fun with a sports title probably since Blitz or like the Bigs on PS3. Um, it's it's so much fun, just chaos, uh, bribing the ref, doing trick plays, trying to kill players in order to win. It's hilarious. It's it's just a blast to play. It's it's awesome. Love this game. Um, so I give it a ten out of ten in the gameplay department. Next category, replayability. I also give a 10. I think replayability is one of its best characteristics. Um, football games, we, we've been playing tournaments for the past like months. We've been playing tournament after tournament. It is so much fun. Um, making brackets, whether it be single elimination, double elimination, uh, trying to unlock all the teams. So it has, um, it does have a few DLCs that you can purchase that uh, you can acquire more teams, but some you have to unlock by beating the game, when, like beating the season. That's why I said I beat the game. But I've put a ton of hours into this game. I'm probably a hundred games deep into it. Um, and it's it's so much fun. And replayability, you know, anything can happen. Playing against uh, different people, using different teams. They have, every team has a different stadium. Every uh, team has a different um, combination of special pl or, uh, trick plays. So. Replayability, man, is just a 10 out of 10. There's still people searching online, believe it or not. It came out in, I don't know, 2017 or 18, so it's been out for a little while. Um, so replayability, 10 out of 10. It's a football game you can just throw on. The games are 30 minutes, you know, and play and have fun. So um, that leads me to fun factor. 10 out of 10, man, this game is a blast. And it's even more fun because of how glitchy it is, <laughs> if that makes sense. Because the game's already awesome. The trick plays are hilarious. Um, characters dying. The dialogue in the game is insane. Um, it's gory. The goal sometimes is to like kill all the quarterbacks and they forfeit the game. 
kill all the running backs. They can't run the ball. It is so much fun. It is an amazing sports game. Love it. If you're looking for something arcadey uh, sports game, look no further. Especially football, man, you can't go. Because I don't think they make blitz anymore. But this is the closest to blitz you're going to get. And it has its own unique take, you know. Um, there are penalties if you bribe the ref. You can uh, kill players. You can pass interference. Um, trick plays like holding cha dual chainsaws running. <laughs> you can literally call a shotgun and hold shotguns and run. Um, murder ball, throw a ball, and it cuts everybody. It, it kills everybody in the path of the ball. Just crazy stuff like that. It's awesome. So fun factor, 10 out of 10. So just to review, I gave graphics a 7 out of 10. Performance a 6 out of 10. Gameplay slash story, 10 out of 10. Replayability, 10 out of 10. Fun factor, 10 out of 10. That averages out to an 8.6 out of 10. But man, this is one of my favorite games um, I have right now. My PS5. I play it on the PS5. I play it just as much as other games. I love it. Um, and some notes I made about it. So fun. I mean, I just wrote so fun. It, it's, it is. It's a blast to play. You laugh. But there is talent involved, too. Uh, it's not just luck. I'd say it's, let's say, 80% skill and 20% complete luck. And the, the luck comes from the, the use of trick plays when you bribe the ref. Because if you bribe the ref before or after your opponent, that, that's a big deal. If you use a trick play and they know how to you know defend against it, that's a big deal. But it's just, and then the glitches. It could glitch out and just stuff not work, and that's hilarious because you don't know if it's supposed to happen sometimes or uh, when you realize it's a glitch and it's in your favor. It's hilarious, or even if it's not in your favor, it's hilarious. Um, I wrote lots of modes, actually, because they have a dynasty mode where you start out with a really low-tier team and try to improve them. You like get skill points by doing certain things. It's cool. That's fun. Kind of look RPG mechanics in there. Season mode, of course. Um, you can practice, you have online play. Um, just a, you can go straight to the Mayhem Bowl. Uh, you can try to unlock you know, a few different teams, try out all the different stadiums. So it has a lot to do in the game, surprisingly. And the game brand new right now, I think is like $14.99, $15. We got it on sale for dirt cheap, like it's not some kind of spring sale for like seven bucks. Um, and the trophies, I actually like the trophies in the game. There is no platinum, bummer, but it has, you know, gold trophy. And they're like, get first uh, in uh, rushing yards, first in passing yards. Stuff that you have to really put, you know, a little time into. So it extends the life of the game. Then that adds to that replayability 10 out of 10 score. So that's all I got for Mutant Football League for the PS4. Highly recommended. One of the best sports games I've played in years. It made me go buy the Sega Genesis version. Um, Amazing. I hope they keep making games like this. It is awesome. Server now.